Let's also make sure that we keep organized here by naming our materials. So we'll call this one screen. And we'll just start creating the rest of them. Um, I think the one we'll start with will be the piece that's underneath the glass here. Okay, so I'm going to grab that glass. Let's hit H here for a second. We'll select the front and back glass. Hit OK. And we'll just hide that for a second. Okay, so we're going to do this piece here. And for this one, we wanted to use um, a flat material. We don't want to have reflections on it because we're going to get double reflections um, with the reflections on the glass that are on top of it. Okay, so we want to be careful that we don't have reflections underneath else it's going to look really weird. All right, so we'll grab a new slot here. Let's switch to a V-ray material again. Okay, we'll call this one uh, flat black. Okay, I'm going to double click this. And let's just make the diffuse color solid black. And we don't really want any reflection at all, so make sure that's also at 0, 0, 0 on the RGB. Um, don't need any glossiness or anything like that. We don't need any refraction. We do want to maybe turn up the samples a bit, though, um, just to avoid noise. So I'm going to crank this up to maybe like 64. Okay, and we're going to assign that to that piece. Okay, and the back um, will be controlled by our texture. We don't need to assign this material to the back. We'll actually make the black uh, part of it on the texture. Okay, so that one's really, really simple, and that'll be you know just that piece. Okay, so the next thing we'll do, let's right click and uh, unhide all so we have our glass back. We'll start working on the glass material. Okay, so let's grab another slot there, another V-Ray material. Name this one glass. Okay, and let's also maybe open up uh, V-Ray uh, RT while we're doing this, just so we can kind of see what we got. Okay, so make sure on Active Shade there, just open it up. Okay, and for our material, we want to change the diffuse color on the glass to black, straight black. Okay, the reflection color, we want some reflections on it, we don't want it to be too intense. Okay, and let me actually just hit H here for a second and select our glass pieces and we'll assign the shader to them. Okay. Now we don't want to crank the reflections up too much because it's uh, going to completely affect how much we can see that underneath the screen. Okay, so we want to leave this pretty subtle. Let's do maybe around 20 or so for starters on the RGB. Okay. Uh, we also want the reflection obviously to be almost transparent. So let's bring it way, way down here. I don't want to go all the way, but we'll go pretty close. Let's do maybe around 245 or so on the RGB. So the glass is pretty much completely transparent, but we do have a little bit uh, of color in it still. Okay. Okay, let's also bring this out and turn on our background. Okay, and we're definitely going to need to crank up uh, the samples, uh, subdivs on this. Okay, let's do maybe like, uh, let's go pretty high. Let's go like 128. Okay, I'm also going to crank them up on the refraction to say about 128. Okay, you can do 64 or something if you don't want to go that high right now. Um, we're going to need to bring down the uh, um, blurriness of the reflections a little bit. You can see it's super crisp. And right now we can't see that on the phone, and that's because uh, we just have a black environment. Okay, so what we want to do is actually close this. Hit F10, switch back to production, go back into the V-Ray tab, and we'll just drag our uh, environment map here, our HDRI, down onto the next one. Let's enable reflections first, and drag that in as an instance. Okay, let's go back to Active Shade. Okay, and it is really reflective. It just doesn't look like it right now. Um, I'll take care of that in a second, but first of all, I want to do maybe 0.95 or so on the uh, reflection, reflection glossiness. Okay, and just to test this, I'm gonna grab maybe a uh, sphere. Okay, I'm just gonna draw that out in the center here for a second. And we'll bring it up on top of our phone. Okay, you can see the glass is uh, reflective quite a bit here. Okay, that'll be more apparent later once we have our uh, whiteboards in place. 
Okay, but that's a, a quick way to test, you know, what your reflection, reflections are looking like. And let me just actually change this to something a little bigger so we can actually see something here. And let's make sure we have that on the camera. Okay, so I'll just let this go for a second to get rid of some of that noise so we can actually see something. Okay, and... I think that might be pretty close for the amount of reflections we want. Um, we're going to need to tweak it a little bit later once we have the rest of the scene built, but for right now I think we'll leave the glass like that. Okay, so let's close that. And, that, and we'll just uh, leave the material like that and we'll come back to it later on. We're going to need to come back and, you know, fine tune a few of these, but for right now, for starters, that's okay. Okay, and the next material we'll do is maybe this border material here that's uh, underneath the metal. Okay, so let's grab another slot, another V-Ray material. Let's call this one maybe frame. Okay, we want this one to be black as well. Let's uh, blow this up and turn our background on. We want this one to be pretty much black, but we want to have a little bit of color in it so it's not uh, completely blacked out. Okay, so we're going to take it down to a really, really dark gray. Let's do maybe around 3, 3, and 3 on, RG, on the RGB so we have a little bit of gray in it and it's not completely black. Okay, we'll leave it like that for now. Uh, we also want to give it a really slight amount of reflection. We don't want it to be mirror-like, but we want to give it a little bit. So let's take this up a bit. And as you can see, it's pretty touchy, so let's do a little less. Uh, maybe around 7 for now. Okay, and obviously we don't want those reflections to be so intense. Uh, so let's blur them out a bit. We'll try maybe 0.6 on the reflection glossiness. Okay, a little bit uh, too low. Let's go up a bit. Maybe... Maybe something like that. We'll do about 0.75 for now. Uh, so we have somewhat blurry reflections here. And we'll also crank the samples on this up a bit. To 64 and you don't have to crank up the samples uh, by your test render you can do that later on but um, I'm just gonna do it right now so I don't forget to do it later and I think we can leave the rest of it like that okay let's grab our frame piece here and we'll sign that and this will be applied to a few other pieces later on um, we'll probably use it on those pieces um, that are filling those gaps on the border and we could actually do that right now let's just hit H and I think we called that border gap filler. So we'll just grab all four of those pieces. Okay, which are these ones on each side. And we'll just apply that same material to them. Okay, I'm just going to change this from just frame to slash uh, filler. All right, just so we know what it's applied to. Okay, and let's also go back into uh, V-Ray for a second and open up Aftershade again. I'm just going to shrink this down. Okay, we're looking okay here. Um, let's get rid of this sphere. We don't need that for now. So let's delete that out of the scene. Okay, and we'll start working on the border uh, shader here. I'm just gonna leave this open while I do it, and hopefully that my video card's not too loud uh, for the recording. All right, so let's go over and grab another shader. Once again, a V-Ray material. We'll call this border. And this one's going to take you know a little bit more tweaking than the others. Um, let's hit H for a second, and let's find our border pieces. Okay, so we want to select all four pieces of the border, and we'll assign this to it. Okay, we're going to start uh, playing with some settings here. Let's also blow this up, turn on our background. Uh, for the diffuse color, I'm actually going to lighten it up a little bit. We don't want it to be too light, but we don't want it to be too dark. Um, Let's do maybe something like that for now. Okay, and for the reflections, gonna need to have quite a bit of reflection on this, so we'll crank this down. Let's do around 100 or so, and okay, and uh, the phone has some really dull blurry reflections on it. It's not that reflective at all, so we're gonna need to blur this out quite a bit. Let's crank this down to maybe 0.7. Oops. Okay, we'll also crank up the subdivisions here uh, to move 128 to get rid of some of the noise in our shader. Okay. 
And as you can see, um, it doesn't look any different here in our render. Okay, and the reason for that is because um, it's so reflective and it's reflecting this background plane. Okay, which is technically the way it should work in the real world, but we don't want to have that in our render. We actually want to exclude the background plane here from the reflections. Okay, so I'm going to select the background and open up uh, the object properties here by right clicking. I'm going to go over to the general tab and we're going to uncheck visible to reflection, reflections and refractions. Okay, and hit OK. Okay, and you can immediately see that's going to start reflecting uh, better here for us. All right, so let's finish tweaking this out. Might want to make this color just a little bit darker. Let's take it down. And we'll do something around there. About one, uh, let's just do like 160 to make it easy. All right, so I'm just going to type that in. Okay. Let's open up the reflections here. And let's uh, give it a little bit more reflection. As you can see, it's uh, looking a little dull there in our render. So let's take this down a little bit more. We'll do around you know, 150, 160, something like that for now on the reflection amount. Okay, we also want to change this maybe from a blend shader to maybe a word shader so it looks a little bit more like metal. Okay, we also need to adjust the um, highlight glossiness here which is locked by default in V-Ray. Uh, if you hit the L here to unlock it, and we can actually adjust this, and this will give it more of an actual highlight if we crank this down a bit here, you can see it coming on our shader. Okay, so we want to take this down a bit, let's uh, do maybe 0.5. And let me just turn the samples down here so it's a little bit faster, I'm going to do maybe like 16 for now. Okay, you can see that's a very soft uh, highlight there. Let's take it up a bit, maybe 0.8 might be a little too much let's do maybe like 0.65 okay and I think that looks a little bit more of what we want to actually look like let's uh, tweak the reflection glossiness a bit I'm just gonna take this up to maybe like 0.9 okay and that might be a little bit too reflective uh, take it down slightly let's do like 0.87 or something like that Okay, I think it's looking okay here in our uh, render. We have some highlights off those uh, bottom speaker ports as well as this edge here. And it's probably a little hard to see um, on the video, but uh, we'll do a bigger render in a minute. Let's see if we have to tweak anything else here first. Okay, I think we're okay. Let's go down to the reflection interpolation here for a second and let's maybe take up the samples here as well. I'm going to take it up to 128 for now. Okay, we'll leave everything else pretty much for the defaults. Okay, and let's maybe get the rest of the materials in before we start uh, tweaking this out any further. Um, I think it's looking pretty good right here uh, for now. I'm just going to close that up and let's actually switch to our production renderer for a second and we'll just maybe render this out really quickly I'm also maybe gonna just um, uh, let's do the render first I'm just gonna do a 40 render here okay we obviously still have quite a bit of noise in the render and that's uh, something we'll take care of later on but we just want to see what the materials look like overall And let's give them another second to render the screen. Okay, and I'm just going to um, maybe change our camera settings a little bit. Um, let's hit H, and we'll go down to our V-Ray camera at the bottom. Select that. Let's go over to the Modify panel. And 
if we change the F number here um, down a bit, it's going to get brighter um, the lower we go. So let's take it down to maybe like, I don't know, four, which might be a little too low, but we'll just see here quickly. Okay, and I think that's a little too light. Uh, let's cancel that. Let's take it up to maybe like six. And let's maybe take the ISO up to maybe like 150. Okay, we'll test that again. We don't want to wash the scene out too much. Okay, and as you can see, it's a little blown out of our screen there. So what we might want to do is go into V-Ray. Um, let's go down into under the V-Ray tab down to color mapping. And we'll switch this from the default linear multiply to maybe exponential. Okay, and that'll help us uh, to control some of the blowout on this uh, really white light areas here. Okay, so I'm going to switch this down to exponential. We'll try it again and see if it's uh, a little bit better. It's going to be a lot darker, but it might uh, give us a better result. And again, you know, we can control the brightness of that screen anytime we want by just, you know, tweaking our um, screen shader uh, multiplier amount. Okay, now I took some of the uh, hotspots that are off. Um, I think we'll go with that for now. We might switch it back later on depending on, you know, uh, any other tweaks that we make. But for right now, I think we're going to leave it like this. Uh, we should probably get in the rest of the materials first. And that border material that we just made um, is actually going to be applied to you know a lot of the other objects here. It should go on the screws as well as those uh, screen mesh pieces there, and obviously the buttons um, up here. Okay, so we'll just hit H, and we'll just find some piece here that we need to apply it to, and we'll just do it right now. So we want to apply it on the screws, home button, mute volume, on off. Okay, and we'll do maybe some of them on the framing for the uh, camera holes later on, but uh, for right now, let's do the buttons. And we'll see what else we need to apply it to. The front speaker mesh, the headphone jack, the SIM card door, both uh, bottom speaker meshes. And we'll also probably use it just on the actual USB port. Okay, the pins in the board are gonna have a different color. Uh, we'll apply it to the blocker as well. Uh, that's pretty far up inside. We're not going to see that, but we'll do it anyways. And let's just hit OK to that. And we'll apply our border material there. Okay. Which will take care of, you know, the material on a lot of the pieces. We still have quite a bit to do. We also got a few textures to still uh, make. And then we got to tweak out those settings.